Hello everyone, Tremon JB here. Uh, welcome to a game called I forgot the name. A liminal place, yes. Um, I'm currently playing this at night, so I'm trying to be a little bit quieter. So if you can't hear me, that's my fault. But uh, I just saw this on the Steam library and thought I'd give it a try. I love liminal spaces, so you know, I probably really, I probably will really like this game. Well, take 67 voices in the halls. Interesting. Alright, so we're going to be going through tapes. I don't know if this is a horror game. I'm going to assume it is until proven wrong. This could just be an exploration game. But knowing the origins of where this is, I'm going to guess it's not. Welcome to the unknown world of the background. Well, that intro song was cool. I like that song actually a lot. The, the muffled and like echoey vibe from it, that was cool. Oh, wow. Oh. Alright, I guess I'm coming to his rescue. Can I fix it? Oh wow. The crouching is like an actual, like, he kneeled down. This is interesting. It's like I'm actually in a VHS tape. That's cool. Okay, well, up here. Ooh, this is weird. Can you even jump? I can't. I don't know if there's going to be enemies or anything like that that I need to worry about. I don't know if I can spin. I don't really see anything. So I need to find a way to level 1, he said. Mm -hmm. Uh, really inaccurate. I'm just kidding. Looks fine. There supposedly isn't any levels in level zero. According to the wikis. Which is like psychological horror. Which I can definitely see that happening. Considering how this space is inclined. This, I don't like this. I mean, I like it, but like, I don't like it. Like, it's really eerie. It's a dark, and there's so many corners. Oh, is that a footstep? December 25th, huh? Christmas. You went to the back rooms on Christmas? That's, uh... Depressing. Imagine you wake up on Christmas morning. Yay, it's Christmas! I can have some milk and cookies and spend time with my family. Oh, no. Nuh-uh. Well, this is scary. I don't like this. I don't know if I can play this. I I mean, I like horror games, don't get me wrong. But... There's just something about how eerie it is. I know the back rooms is meant to be eerie, and, you know, this is following suit on what it's supposed to be, but... It's like every single corner or turn, there's going to be something. That has a weird view. See the sky above, like this weird, confined structure? Whoa. That is interesting. 
I'm not exactly sure where I'm going. I'm just kind of moving this towards this direction. This direction being... I don't know. <laughs> I don't like this. This gives me... This freaks me out. I... Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know. Uh, there's just so many sharp turns that I feel like any time I do take a turn, there's just going to be like something there. It's so dark in some places. I think, if I remember correctly, the way to get to level 1, if possible, would be through a door. I don't like that I can sprint, though. That makes me think that there is something. Because else, why would I need to sprint? Dead end. Really don't like this. This is... Ugh. This is messing with my head. I don't know if I can do this. Like, I want to. This is cool. But... It's scary. Like, I get that's the point. It's a horror game. But it's just so... Oh. I was trapped. It's just so, like... It's so claustrophobic. And... Like I said, around every turn, I feel like there's going to be something. It, it's freaking me out. It's kind of giving me anxiety a little bit. Knowing that there might be something here is bothering me. I hope I don't have flashlight battery. I also hope this game doesn't track the audio from my mic, because that would be a bit unfortunate. Whoa. That's cool. Like, I do have to admit, the graphics and stuff, they're, they're pretty clean. Like, this is like cool and all. But my god, I do not want to be here. Maybe I did. Oh. It's also just really quiet, and I don't. I really. I'm kind of panicking right now. This is probably how it would actually feel to be in the back room, because you don't know where you're going, right? And just the psychological messing of the brain with so many sharp turns and corners and stuff like that. It's freaking me out. Imagine if this game was in VR. Oh my god, I couldn't do it. I could not. Can I have someone to talk to? Like, can I call up the buddy that called me? Because just having, hearing a voice, like, like a nice voice, I'm not doing this would be so much better. But the fact that it's just so eerily quiet is bothering me so much. I feel like I just I feel like it's just getting more and more smaller. Never mind. Never mind. I'm actually not gonna go in there, frankly. I'm right back to the where I started. Don't tell me I'm back to where I started. Oh, God damn it. I don't know where to go, because he said he left me something. I'm not sure what that something is. Was the green? Oh, yeah, I'm back at the beginning. It was the green sign. <laughs> or green, white sign. What is this? What, what is this? Oh, it's a Walkie talkie. Can I pick it up? No? Oh, there's no pause menu either? Um, I do not like this. This makes me so uncomfortable. I know it's a horror game, and I'm. <laughs> Probably just sounds like I'm complaining, which I'm not. 
It's just like credit. I give credit where it's due. If you can freak me out, then that's sort of an award because I don't get creeps from games very often anymore. But this is really bothering me. It's just the tight corridors and the the sharp turns and the darkness in some spaces. It uh, messes with me. Can I have some other audio beside the sound? Um, footsteps. I should walk backwards. That probably doesn't help me. Okay, this one is lighter. I don't know if that indicates anything. There's a mirror. It's weird how you can see like through the map and some of the ceiling. I'm not discrediting that though, because it makes it, it does make it feel like unreal. Which I mean hitting the back rooms, that's very accurate. Okay, I, my heart is racing and it hasn't even really done anything like jump scare -y. it's just made me wonder and it's like really, really bugging me. I just don't like that no matter where I turn, behind me will be another entrance there. And is this procedurally generating? Is this just... Is this infinitely generating? I swear I saw something. I swear to God. Oh no. Oh no. If this is procedurally generating, then that is insane. And it could explain the ceiling issues. But maybe not. Maybe it's just a really big map. I guess the smart thing to do would be have it to be procedurally generating. I guess that's always unique, but still, I don't know oh, I like this. I mean, I mean, I do, I do, I do, but, like, to me, this is just too eerie and unsettling to me. It's, it's giving me the same feeling of when I'm wandering a Gmod map with no lights, and you have to use your flashlight while no one else is with me. Or like I'm playing Gmod alone. It bothers me. Like, ma like there's a map that is useful that I have. It's just like the uh, GM uh, flat grass. And it's just pitch dark in there. It's, just, it's good for lighting and stuff. But when you're setting it up and it's just the pitch darkness with only a few lights that you set up and it's just you freaks me out. It's why I typically listen to music when I play games and stuff like that. Because like, if the game doesn't have that much audio on its own, I, I get like a really off-put and eerie vibe from it. Like, sometimes Minecraft can do that to me. See, the thing with FNAF that doesn't really scare me anymore is because... What? Oh, wait a minute. Is that what I need? Is that where I need to go? Oh, I'll go in other direction. I'm about to close this thing. Yeah. Um, like, the thing about that, like, FNAF doesn't really scare me that much anymore, but, like, it's still scary sometimes when I'm playing a game for the first time. Like, Ruin jump scared me a bit. Um, Street Reach is pretty scary in some sections. But, like, the old games and stuff like that, it's not just because I'm used to them, but it's because they have so much ambiance and, like, uh, noises that go on while you're playing. So, it's not, like, eerily quiet and, you know, you can actually, like, hear stuff. How do I get to where that was? But, uh, like, game games like this, where there's hardly no audio outside of what you're doing, it it just bothers me really badly, and it gives me like a sense of like 
claustrophobia or loneliness and just the feeling of you're not like truly alone. Like even though you can't hear or see anything else, you just feel like you're being watched. Like someone's watching you or something. Um and like stuff like that truly bothers me a lot. I get why games do it, but like like specifically horror games why they do it. It's you know, obviously to scare you. But games that aren't meant to be scary, if they're scary, then you know, it kinda of bothers me even more because it's you're taking a space that's typically happy and making it very eerie and unsettling. Like Gmod, for instance, in Minecraft. I mean, Minecraft has made the warden, so I guess how, how scary is it not, really? Okay, I am lost. I, <laughs> I've been talking, kind of like to just distract myself. But I actually have no idea where I'm going. I don't know what I'm looking for, exactly. I'm supposed to be looking for a way to level 1, but I can't... Like, I want to at least, before, like, get to another level before I end this video, but, you know, I don't find it the real story. I swear. I swear I heard something. Every time I think I hear something, I get chills, and it makes it so much worse. It's like my brain knows that there's something there. Yeah, my body hasn't responded yet. Okay, I can't do this. I'm sorry, guys. I can't do this. This is really bothering me. It's giving me anxiety. <laughs> like, I can play horror games, okay? I can. But stuff like this just freaks me the hell out. Okay, listen. If this video gets enough attention, and you guys truly want me to actually play this game fully, I will try and come back and try to get over my nerves, because this is a lot for me to take in. It's weird to me to feel this, like, unsettled and terrified by a game, because I usually am not, no matter the circumstances, but, I mean, this is something else. So, if you enjoy my little rants, um, you do that, you, you like it, I guess, I don't know. But again, if you guys actually want me to try and complete this game, I will. But until you guys tell me that you do, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be doing it. Because this, this, is, my God, I just no, it it messes with me so badly. But until next time, see you all later.